round out the phrase. Rounding out the phrase now. Thanks very much. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> uh, it's so great to have you all here. Here at the Fret Buzz Studios. Um, here we're on the we're uh, we're on the East Coast today, East Coast of the United States. A um, lot going on over the past uh, past couple of weeks. That's for damn sure. Anyway, we're gonna try to brighten everything up <clears throat> with a uh, with a lesson. Uh, a great lesson on this tune called uh, Till There Was You. Beatles did a fantastic version of it, didn't they? Whew, good stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm doing my arrangement in the key of E. Walking into an E chord with B as the highest note, we're going G sharp A. And the E major chord, B as the soprano, kinda nice. And then you can fill in the space however you like. Let's just let's just play the melody with a chordal accompaniment, no fillers, right? Just straight, but the right way, right? Now same melody, right? G sharp A. Now an E seven flat nine. Mute the A string. Oh, flat nine on the bass. Gorgeous, gorgeous, everyone. Here, after playing G sharp A, uh, I guess I would call this chord F sharp minor 11, play B as the highest note again, but then resolve it to an A like this. Yeah, here's the A I speak of, yes. E to a C. What do I do from there? After the um, F sharp minor 11 chord. E, C, A sus2, again with B as the soprano. Right? You know, what I do is have this like, nice kind of chromatic uh, passage up to a C. Alright? We're going to get into an E chord now by playing E, F sharp, A, and then resolve the A down a half step to G sharp. Harmonize the A with the low E if you'd like to. Cool, yeah, we, are you with me? <laughs> Let me explain that last little melodic thing I did. E, F sharp, A, G. Low E with the A. Low E, octave E, F sharp. Right? Um, G sharp minor. G sharp minor six. G minor, seven, F sharp minor, right? So we have this cool descending minor chord jive. So what's going on there, do you say? What's going on there, I say? Let's uh, take a look at this real quick. On um, three chord, three minor six, flat three, minor seven, right? G minor seven, getting us into, ah, the two chord. After the two chord, we're, we're walking into the five chord ish. It's kind of an interesting fingering to create these harmonies. Uh, B, D sharp, slur to E, hammer the F sharp, right? Slur in there too. Bar the fourth finger for the B on the G string. It's a little bit of a tricky fingering here. My ring finger is not pressing, it's just ready to go. Right? B, we're going to keep it as a common tone. First finger solo on the B and the A string. So basically what we have going on here is like um, uh, an E, E add nine sort of thing. There's no third in this chord. I guess we can call it a stacked fifth. Um, e to B, 
B to F sharp, there are two fifths. Right? Kind of nice. Okay, so after the descending portion, we can go f uh, f 3 minor 7, flat 3 minor 7, 2 minor 7 to the 5 chord, back to the 1 with the stacked 5th. Okay, now, 2, 5, right? Both root position chords. We're bringing a flat 9. Ah, on the 5 chord. So we have F sharp minor 7. Fill in the space as you'd like. Alright, now we have B, D sharp, A, and C. For our 5 chord, getting you back into... Within, within like the next week or so, uh, I'll put up uh, the B section to this tune. A lot of fun. Different register, all kinds of cool chords. Please check that out if you have a couple of free minutes. All right, cats, practice hard. Be good to each other. Um, play scales with a metronome and uh, enjoy the sunshine. Shall you? Will, won't you? <laughs> <laughs>